All right, guys, before we start this episode of Universes, there are a couple things that we have to go over. We are going to announce the giveaway winners from the last episode, the 5,000 credits. It's going to be five winners, 1,000 credits each. We're about to roll that in one second. But before we do that, I just wanted to let you guys know that the Prisons server is going to be resetting here on OP Legends. Oh my God, I don't know what just happened to my frames right there, but Prisons is going to be resetting on Saturday this weekend at 3 p.m. EST as per usual. Bro, do I suck at parkour? No, hold on, hold on. Let me go crazy. But yeah, just wanted to mention the reset and then we're gonna go over the giveaway winners i do apologize this episode was a little bit shorter than the other ones but again dude i was so far like pre-recorded that like it's just hard to know how long the videos are sometimes and bang we just beat our record right there 14 seconds it's got to be solid but yeah prisons reset you guys can comment any type of series you guys want to see i'm not sure if jewelfish would be town for a versus here actually no i can't do a versus series because i will be like going out of town i will not be on my pc setup from like thursday to like sunday or something or monday something like that so we would completely miss payout and we would miss like multiple days of grinding. We would get cooked in a versus series. But I don't know if you guys have any other suggestions. I am thinking about maybe running back a default series on prisons because I did that last time and it didn't really go according to plan because I couldn't play as much. But I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll go ahead and see. Let's go roll those giveaway winners. So here we go. We're about to roll the first giveaway winner. I'm just going to pay the credits right now because I can actually pay them while you are offline. So if you guys see your name, you should have an extra thousand credits in your credit balance. So first one oops what the hell did i just do we have this guy right here isaac love the videos keep up the grind i appreciate it i will pay you right now on my other monitor credits 1000 and then we're gonna go ahead and roll the next one pick a winner boom this potato guy right here you got a massive lead on joel fish he doesn't stand a chance you love to see it and then boom roll the next one we got reckless rocket right here i believe this is the fourth winner right here oh ign what's the point okay actually pretty solid name right there baby sell the goat and then the final winner is this guy right here shout out to everybody again i have been paying literally every single winner so everyone already has their credits by the time this video goes out but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and knock that out really quickly in today's intro hopefully you guys do actually enjoy the real episode and yeah drop a like sub if you guys knew all that stuff and let's hop into the video yo guys what is going on it is royal here today back for another episode of the universes versus series here on royal.oplegends.com of course if you guys do want to come check out the server it is java and bedrock compatible default bedrock port and then using my custom ip will directly support me and the channel so i would greatly appreciate it if you guys do consider hopping on selling me some keys helping me out in the versus series to actually win you guys know this versus series has uh, gotten pretty competitive on the last couple of episodes if you guys have been keeping up with the series but anyways guys in today's video we also have another insane one all right i'm recording this right after finishing the last video so we're still like rank 980k i'm still gonna get to rank 1.1 million before i stop grinding for today but guys the admins have listened to us lake players okay they have dropped lake skins like five to ten minutes ago now these skins look absolutely insane there is a kraken skin for your rod and then there is a siren skin skin for your rod well i already have one of them okay and it's not because i won it out of a crate or anything my cell member uh cats right here he won a giveaway for it so since they just barely dropped the brand new skins they did like a raffle for a kraken skin and i believe a creator actually won that i think frost gaming 81 got the kraken skin now unfortunately i do think the kraken skin might be the best skin in the game but then they did a like slash giveaway or whatever one of those little giveaway events for the siren rod and freaking cats ended up winning that giveaway and if you guys don't know cats is a farm main so he doesn't need the rod at all so he gave it to me and we are going to be checking it out for the first time right now by going to my slash mailbox it is right here because he traded it over to me so let's grab this brand new skin and if we take a look at the ability song of the siren it recreates the irresistible song of the mythological sirens blessing you with a 15x fish multiplier for one minute i don't know if that's like a fish multiplier for like money um oh yeah it's gonna be up here so you basically make 15 times the amount of money for one minute bro that is insane so we are claiming that skin and uh, i think i might have to relock oh wait no look now our rut is gold we have it 
equipped. And all of these brand new skins have custom abilities. I just read you guys this one. I want to make sure none of the pools are on cooldown before I pop this ability because I want the most amount of money possible whenever we activate this thing. But the Kraken skin, I don't know, that one also looked insane. I forgot everything it gave you, but like one of the boosts was like a 3x star multiplier. That would be nuts, especially if you're playing competitively in a G top like versus series, which obviously we are. So I still want to try and hunt for that Kraken skin. Maybe we can buy it off Frost Gaming. I'm not sure if he'd sell it, but we still have the Siren and the Siren is going to help my ranks. And right now I am trying to get to rank 1 million. If we do rank top lake, we are still climbing. I'm going to pass Santa here very, very soon. Kells is Jewelfish's main fisher. He's at 1.2 million, basically. So all in all, I am not far behind. But let's go ahead and pop a fish booster. Pop. Oh, wait, that was a Slayer orbs. Oh, my God. I meant a lake orbs. That is on me. There we go. Also, I did just ascend, so I think we have a money booster anyway. Let's pop the Siren ability. Oh, I wish I turned up my sounds, bro. There was like a little sound cue. I'm going to turn it up for the next one, but we should be making bank, I assume. I don't know how long the ability lasts for. Oh, wait, no, it lasts for one minute. I wonder. What is the cooldown? 10 minute cooldown is pretty brutal. I somehow already hit all of these pawns over here. I need my regeneration to be maxed, bro. And I've already used so many lake fragments on regeneration, but somehow I am destroying this lake. But either way, guys, this skin is going to help us a ton. We're almost at rank 990k. I don't know how many ranks we're going to gain in that minute, but a boost is a boost, so I'm going to take it. It's better than having no skin, all right? And all the other realms had skins. I was a little jealous. I can't lie. But I still believe the Kraken skin might be better than the Siren, so we're going to hunt for that as well. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is basically it for this intro. I just want to keep grinding as much as possible. So I'm going to take a cut right here. I'm going to continue to use this skin off camera, you know, always popping and making sure... We are taking full advantage of this because no one on Jewelfish's cell has this rod yet. Like literally two people have the new custom rods and it's me and Frost Gaming 81. So I'm going to take a cut. I will see you guys in one second after we've grind for a couple of hours. All right, guys, we are back and we have a pretty fat update clip for this one right here. I'm going to get into everything in one second. But the first thing first, our AFK farm is completely full, bro. I went to the gym, came back and now I see this. OK, I literally barely got back, bro. I haven't even showered yet. But we have to sell all of these drops right here because our farm is completely full. We honestly need to extend this uh, storage system a little bit more because it fills up like twice a day. I sold this farm earlier today, like not even 10 hours ago. But guys, we have made some discoveries from Jewelfish's video. You know, shout out to him for leaking this to us. Otherwise, we would have never known. But uh, I thought we had the AFK universe in the bag, if I'm going to be honest. But apparently, Bravo Cell, you know, the one that he merged with, they didn't deposit like any AFK stars at all. And they they actually brought 30 billion from the jump. Oh, wait. Oh my God, bro. Almost forgot to activate this. Dude, I have been throwing, by the way, by not activating this, but I've sold a couple times more off camera now. And we are actually using this gamer's desk. I thought it was purely cosmetic, but you guys can see you actually gain a 0.5 XL multiplier for 30 minutes whenever you activate it. So boom, let's activate that. And then yeah, we are going to sell this entire farm. It takes forever to sell. I think I've already sold it before on episode. But yeah, AFK Universe to win against Jewelfish's gang is going to be really, really hard because again they had a 30 billion afk star like head start bro that is really hard to come back from well i am very confident that we have more gens than them again they were a full team so they already had fully upgraded gens off the jump and i'm actually gonna throw a screenshot on screen right now from jewel fish's video bravo literally said invite these other three members of my team because we each do our own universe which is again why going up against a set team is a super big disadvantage i had to hand pick all of my recruits they didn't all come from one cell so all of our gens were different levels and again bravo sell you know they saved stars for the first week but like i said i do believe we have more gens than them i just don't know if we're going to be able to make up 30 billion worth of afk stars and actually catch up to them in that universe this week but i do think it'll be very very close and off camera we have been grinding late i will show you guys a uh, lake rank top here in a second and we've also been grinding out our pass it's almost fully maxed out bro i honestly slack a lot in pass because i literally forget to do it so often but we're almost completely maxed out with it so it's not that big of a deal and off camera we have made our final recruitment to max out our gang and i believe i've already mentioned who that spot was for in previous episodes so baby cell has joined the gang he is a slayer we are gonna have the slayer universe on lock i promise you there's no way they beat us in that also guys we have now received our payout from placing on gang top as a solo i know this video is like way in the future of the first week payout but again 
GTOP glitched in that video and nobody had any clue who won like second through fifth. We only knew Eden won first and I actually ended up taking fifth place. So we just got those credits and I might purchase two Head Start bundles just because they were free credits that we received. I had a feeling that I did win that week, but I didn't want to sound too cocky because you know, placing as a solo first week, whenever that's the most comp is absolutely nuts. And finally, we are coming up on the end of this farm at least, but I still have to go down here. I haven't checked this one. Don't really know where our, oh, okay. Yeah, this side is still almost completely filled. Now, Jewel Fish's Cell is actually gatekeeping their gens. I've already showed off our gens, but we have grown our farm a ton since that last video. You guys might not think so, but trust me, we have placed down so many extra gens. I'm not really gonna gatekeep it that hard like the way Jewel Fish is doing, because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, AFK universe, you have to AFK. There's not really any way to grind and come back from it, but maybe I won't show like everything that we got going on. You know what I mean? But there we go. Selling process is done and we made a smooth 20 billion AFK stars. Now that is pretty good. Like I said, maybe we could come back in the AFK universe. It is going to take a couple of days if we do want to do that. But right now, I think we're making really, really good money. If we started off as a sell from the jump, dude, we would be insanely overpowered right now. But anyways, guys, now it is time. We are going to spend all of these AFK orbs, upgrade all of our gens once again. I have 20 billion to spend, so it's going to take a fat minute. Let me take a real quick cut and then we will hop into the lake update. Okay, guys, finally, we spent all of our AFK orbs and upgraded our gens again. Not really showing all the gens just yet. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and spend our G top credits real quick. We're going to do slash buy and we are getting two head start bundles. Bang, there's one and we just got the Kraken rod. Oh, my, I said I was hunting for that in today's episode, bro. I don't, again, I don't know if this is gonna be better than the Sirens rod. Oh, by the way, update on the rod so far. Look at our over levels. We're looking pretty decent. Anyways, let's go ahead, buy one more. There we go. We got an extra gamer's desk right there. Anyways, let's take a look at this ability. Calls upon the all devouring Kraken to assist you while fishing. The Kraken will start a thunderstorm, which grants you a 4X magic fish uh, multiplier alongside a 3x lake orbs and stars multiplier. This sounds godlike, bro, especially for stars. I don't know. And dude, oh my god, I also have two Star of the World loot boxes, bro. My inventory is just scuffed to the max, and look at how many boosters I have just everywhere in my PVs, dude. We're actually full. All right, whatever. Let's place these down. I do believe you have a chance to win or boost modifiers, by the way. Um, there's 2.5x's in this crate, and I haven't won any of them, but we'll just open up the Star of the Worlds first. Oh, we did get an extra 1.5x orbs right there. That's not bad. Really hoping we can get a 25 x out of one of these crystal boxes though we'll open them two at a time let's just see what we go ahead and get um super transfer token more gen slots i mean i'll just take it bro we are behind in the afk universe so that's all good and freaking pitchforks bro but 24 extra gen slots right there oh bro we could actually hit 500 gen slots right now if we get a little bit more uh luck out of these crates that is definitely possible so let's keep on going um okay i, I don't think we got anything good out of that dude wow um we got another kraken rod though i could slide that over to aimless and and let's move on to these next ones, bro. Please show me an orbs mod, bro. How many of these have I opened and not one orbs mod is nasty work? All right, last two crates, bro. These are the last crystal boxes I am freaking opening, dude. Unless we win them from obviously, you know, the slash skills and stuff. But right there, wow, we got a gilded star scroll. But uh, that is about it. That was horrible. But anyways, guys, let's head over to the slash lake. I'm going to try out this Kraken skin in the next video or next clip. I'm not really sure because, dude, if I do slash rank top lake real quick, you guys can see we are at 1.3 million, basically. Kells is 1.4 million. But the thing is slash pass. I told you we've been grinding this thing out. Dude, I keep getting tier three modifier box challenges. That pissed me off. I literally, that's why I went to the gym. I had three of those challenges and I was like, yo, chalk it. I'm going to the gym and now we got active big dragon fish that is amazing two new challenges regular pet boxes and flying fish that's beautiful about to get some more gen slots right here but in my slash pass guys there are forty five thousand ranks right here that i have not claimed and back here there is another forty five thousand ranks so we have ninety thousand ranks sitting in my slash pass which basically means we can catch up to kells right now but i'm just gonna grind all of my levels off camera for right now and i'm not gonna use my pass until i wake up tomorrow because i don't want to pass kells and then he thinks you know he he has to start grinding like crazy. I'm going to pass him tomorrow. Hopefully, at least. I'm going to probably grind out like 100k ranks just, you know, by fishing, you know, the per usual. And then tomorrow, whenever I wake up, I'm going to pop my 90k ranks and then hopefully we'll be caught up with him. He's been maining lake pretty much the entire season, I believe. So catching up already is amazing. And not only that, dude, I am ascend level 15 about to be 
16. Get that done. Now, like I said, I've already showed you guys a little bit of the updates on the rod. We have been upgrading regeneration a pretty good amount, but yeah, it is starting to get dumb expensive. To get the next level, it is 75 fragments for this regenerate proc rate uh, upgrade. So they're starting to tax me a little bit, but I mean, it's fine. But off camera as well, we went ahead and hit 152,000 fish caught, which means we can apply our final money modifier. I forgot what PV I put them in. Let's go ahead and find them. Nope. These are all garbage ones. I honestly, need to trash those but, ah yeah right here okay so we got a 3.87 x i think that's our next best one and yeah we're gonna roll with this let's apply this to the rod as well boom now if we take a look right here fishing modifiers we have all of these rank currencies and i still have this 1.5 x orbs i don't know if i should keep it or apply another money i do kind of want to switch back to an orbs pet here pretty soon after i pass kells so for right now i guess we'll just keep that one there we'll have an extra right in here but yeah guys we're about to start popping these fish boosters lake boosters proc rates grind keys um, oh, we need a slash pass as well. And we are going to get to grinding. I don't know how long this video already is, bro. It might be super long. Maybe it's an extra long video, 30 minutes special. Who knows? Because I haven't edited like the last three universe episodes because I've just been grinding and, you know, doing too much content. But anyways, I'm going to take a cut right here. We are going to grind. The next clip is probably going to be tomorrow. It is pretty late at night. So yeah, we'll just see. All right, guys, we are back and we have been grinding for a pretty long time. I would say like two, two and a half hours, maybe. I don't know. I don't time it. But we have been grinding for quite some time. And uh, if I just take a look, we are currently rank uh, 1,362,000. My goal is 375,000 and then go to sleep, wake up, pop my 90k ranks. And at this point right now, I think if we were to pop it, I think we would pass Kells right now. But my slash pass is fully maxed out now we are completely done thank god and yeah we'll be claiming all of those rewards probably in the next episode i think for right now let me go ahead and show you guys the kraken's rod right here i don't know how to uh oh right click to retrieve bang okay so we just took the skin off now we have the sirens rod let's go ahead and equip the krakens and it might take a minute for the thing to switch because this one is still yellow which is the sirens rod maybe if i slash spawn and then lake on back boom there we go. Now we have ourselves the Kraken's Rod. And again, this one's just going to give you like a star booster and an orbs booster. I have no clue how good it's actually going to be, but I mean, I'll show it off, bro. Boom. Okay. I don't know. I feel like there's like a little sound effect that comes with it. It's like water. I don't know if you guys can hear that. My sounds are definitely too low on the video. If I just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you guys hear that? It's like raining now. Bro, it never does that. So that's actually a pretty cool effect right there i'll take it but yeah i definitely think the sirens rod is actually better i thought krakens was going to be better at first but or unless it has maybe a shorter cooldown that might go crazy and boom the sound effect just faded out that's how you know it is over all right yeah still the 10 minute cooldown so i think the sirens rod in my opinion is definitely better can i retrieve this or do i have to wait the cooldown yeah you gotta wait the cooldown but anyways guys listen i think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of universes in the next one hopefully we end up passing kells not hopefully bro i'm dedicated all right i'm dedicated to passing that man and uh we might be making one other slight move in the next episode that could help us win this series so anyways yeah if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.oplegends.com and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next episode of the universes versus series.